Hmm. Well, I'm not sure if I should give you this milk or not. That's because I'm not sure if it's good for you or not. Explain. Absolutely, little kitty. Hey, friends. So in today's episode, let us explore the pros and cons of drinking cattle milk by answering a highly debatable question. Is milk really healthy for you? Zoom in! Ever since humans started domesticating animals like sheep, goats and cows, milk has become an integral part of our daily diet due to its nutritional value and health benefits. But in recent times, milk and other dairy products have become controversial as some people claim them to be unhealthy and a reason behind many fatal diseases. And believe it or not, some of the complaints have pretty strong evidence to back them up. Yes, and the biggest complaint with milk is its relationship with an enzyme called lactase, which is produced in our body. You see, when we are babies, our body generates enough lactase to break down milk sugar lactose that helps digest milk easily. But as we grow older, the lactase production reduces with time, making it hard to digest milk in the condition called lactose intolerance. Not only that, the cow's milk is the leading cause of allergic reactions in young children and one of eight foods responsible for 90% of childhood allergies. And besides all this, the best known adverse outcomes of consuming milk are the development of acne. Yes, researchers have found out that skimmed milk can increase the rate of acne by 24%. So those with acne, you better lessen its consumption. But people fighting a case against the milk aren't just stopping there and challenging it with more serious accusations such as the development of cardiovascular diseases, brittle bones and even cancer. But is there any truth to these claims? Well, some old-time researchers saw a slight connection between milk and the risk of certain types of cancers. But recent in-depth studies have debunked these claims and found no connection at all between them. In fact, the calcium present in milk might play a protective role against colon cancer. Likewise, other studies did not find any link between milk and the risk of other life-threatening diseases. But strangely enough, when it comes to the bones, the results are a bit complicated as it has neither good nor bad effects on adults. But the vital question remains, is milk healthy or not? Well, despite all the doubts about it, one thing is for sure. And that is, all kinds of milk are full of nutrients like fats, proteins, vitamins and minerals. So, in places with a limited food supply and low standard of living, milk can be a good source of energy that can help reduce child mortality. And for those living in well-developed places, unless someone is allergic to them or has lactose intolerance, milk can be a good source of calcium and vitamin B in general. So in short, milk wins the case and retains its status as a healthy drink. Trivia time! Did you know about 65% of the world's population is lactose intolerant? Which means they can't digest more than 150 milliliters of milk in a day. 
Hope you learned something healthy today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Never mind.